Hi, this is Jo Marie Domino from Dippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls, and I have another really fun decoupaging technique. You're going to be able to use any of your decorative napkins to make note cards, um, Christmas cards, greeting cards, gift tags, bookmarks, bigger bookmarks, postcards, and many other things. This technique is perfect for anybody who likes to work with paper, like paper crafters, your rubber stampers, your scrapbookers, and of course, decoupagers are going to like this too. Now, I am going to be using an iron-on technique. I've done it in other videos, but I am not going to be using the Mod Podge. Instead, my adhesive is going to be plastic wrap. The plastic wrap is what's going to keep the napkin attached to the card. This is a really, really cool technique. Wait until you see this. All right, let's get started. My first card I'm going to do is a fold over card. It looks like this, very pretty mermaid. I'm using what's called a four bar card. This is how they come. You can buy them like this. They're cut to size and they have like a little score mark so you can fold it over like this. And so you pretty much just have a note card and you're just putting the front part on. So it's pretty quick and easy to do. All right, this is the napkin I'm going to use. I'm only using the top layer, you know, those layers that go underneath. You don't need those. Just want to put those aside. All right, so here's where I'm going to iron. I want to show you what I have um, so you know for safety and what's going to work best. Um, I put a towel down first. Then I have a board. This board is actually a sign I got at the Dollar Tree. It cost me a dollar. Then I am also going to be using parchment paper. This is cooking parchment paper so it can uh, withstand heat. You don't want to use anything like um, wax paper. It looks like wax paper, but it's not. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the card down first, which is here. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Then I have my saran wrap on top. Here it is. Saran wrap is a little tricky to work with because you don't want it to have wrinkles. You want it to be as smooth as possible. So now I'm going to take my napkin and I'm going to line it on, on the card. Now, I can see through this I can because I'm using the top layer, so I can plainly see that, yes, uh, that a napkin is covering the entire front of the card. Now I'm going to take the other piece of parchment and I'm going to put that down on top. Okay, so you see how I'm kind of holding it with that hand and you just want to switch hands and do it like that so that it doesn't move. Okay, when you do this, make sure that none of the plastic wrap is sticking out because you don't want it to attach itself to the iron. That would make a big, big mess. Okay. So now I'm going to start to iron over it. Now, with this method, with the saran wrap, you just don't want to keep the iron in one place to and forth like this. Now, I'm not going to speed up any of this video because I want you to see how long this takes. It probably is a little bit longer than when I used the glue in other videos. And I'll put the links to those videos too because there's that's just another... Um, iron on method you can use that's also very very good i have to show you other methods though right some people really love this method which by the way this is not my idea i'm sharing this okay so let's check it i'm going to take off the parchment like that and this is a little bit hot so i just want to remind you um, I know these are for pots, but whenever you're working with something hot, you want to protect your fingers. And while I'm talking about protecting fingers, um, these are silicone fingertip protectors. These work really well when you're using hot glue. Believe me, you can save yourself a lot of burns by using some of these items. Okay, so now I'm going to check to see if it adhered. Okay, that's the bottom part. So it looks like... Yep, it looks like it's stuck down. Okay, let me put this back over here. So now I'm going to trim the card, okay? Just use a good pair of scissors and just follow the card, the shape of the card. You know, you don't have to use an X-Acto knife and a ruler and just go all the way around. Because I'm going to show you the next thing that I do um, anytime I use this technique. Um, this is such a great technique. I mean, you really can... You know, rip through a lot of greeting cards um, using this. Um, Christmas right now is about um, six weeks away, so uh, anybody who's planning on making their own greeting cards, uh, this is a great way to do it. Okay. 
Now I'm going to put it back under this. I just want to make sure that it definitely adhered, so I'm just going to run the iron over it again. Oop. There we go. Isn't this easy? You just want to be careful with the iron, <laughs> but it's easy. Okay, so let's take a look. Hot. <laughs> okay, definitely want to remember um, that this is hot. There we go. Okay, so there we have the card. And again, this was done with a four bar. And here's the first one that I did. Okay, so now let's move on to another size card. All right. So this is the napkin that I'm going to use. Okay, it ripped a little, that's okay. I'm not using that part anyway. This time I'm using a piece of white cardstock, um, like index stock, vellum bristles, just very common. You can get it in the stores, any place. And I'm going to put the card down. We want to remember our layering because you don't want to put the plastic on top of the napkin. So you want to do your card. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap, your plastic wrap, put that down. Now I'm going to put the napkin on. And again, I can see through this. Now I want to make sure I get that Merry Christmas and I want to make sure that I'm getting uh, the reindeer and Santa. And actually with this, I kind of have to make sure the Merry Christmas is straight. So that's a little tricky because saran wrap is so slippery. Okay, so I'm going to hold it down with my hand. I'm going to put the parchment paper back on top like that. Okay, now back with the iron. All right. Again, you don't want to um, keep the iron in one place because you really could scorch it um, if you do because we're really dealing with thinner um, materials with the papers. But... Um, I love doing this method. Um, I like to do, I actually did my business cards one time. I, I took the um, napkin and I put it on a big piece of paper, a cardstock, and then I cut it and I put my name on the other side. So when they got my business card, they had this like really pretty napkin on the back. And you know, napkins are different than scrapbook paper. They have a completely different feel, almost kind of like a velvety feel. Um, and the image is not real crisp like a scrapbook paper is. Um, it's more muted. It's pretty. I like using napkins. Okay. And again, I'll put this over here. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm checking like the corners. Okay, looks good there. Okay. All right, so we're going to get this one. A trim too. Well, I'm just going to trim some of it because I already have one done. But it's basically the same thing. You're just going to follow the card, and that's how you're going to cut, just like this, until you go all the way around. But I do have one done because I want to show you something else that you can do with these. Because I know a lot of paper crafters and card makers like to do this. Okay, so here it is. It's all done. I'm going to take my tape runner, double stick tape. Um, you can use regular, I guess scotch tape makes like a double stick tape. You can use that too. You don't have to use this. I just happen to have it. Um, if you do a lot of stamping and paper craft, you know, I'll tell you do have this. Makes things go much faster. Okay, so now I'm going to mount it onto another piece of cardstock. And I found this brown and I thought it really looked good. And I'm going to kind of eyeball this and press it down. And look at that. I just made a card. Isn't that pretty? So nice. Okay, I'm going to make one more, and I'm making another one because actually I love this napkin, and that's why I have to show you this one. I stumbled upon this napkin. Um, Vippy's does have it. Um, it's really, really pretty. It has a, a really nice design that goes all the way across it, and I thought, boy, you know, if you're having a party, like a buffet or a dinner, this napkin would be perfect for that. Okay, so. Here's the card. It's the same size card as I used over there. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to get another piece of saran wrap. Okay. I had to pre-cut it. It's so hard to work with. Okay. So remember, parchment paper, cardstock, saran wrap. Now I'm going to put the napkin on. Here it is. So pretty. All right. So again, I can see through this, so I can line this up pretty good. Look at that. I love this. 
I'm gonna have to have a dinner party just so I can use this napkin. Okay, I'm holding it down with this hand and then I'm gonna do this like that. Okay, so I'm keeping it in place. All right, here we go. Okay, be careful, it's hot. And you're gonna go back and forth again until the plastic melts and then the napkin sticks. Such a great technique. If you're a scrapbooker, you can do pages. You can do a full page and then you can put your pictures right on top. That would be really nice. I'm gonna have to try that. I've never done much scrapbooking, but I always want to, I always mean to. All right, a little bit more. And you notice, again, don't hold the iron too long in one spot. Scorching, we don't want that. And also, make sure the plastic wrap is underneath that top uh, piece of parchment. Very, very important. Okay, let's see. Okay, put that over here. And let's take a look. And you can see, like you wanna check the sides in the corners. That's normally where it might pick up. And that looks very good to me, it really does. And again, you would just go around and trim all of that off and I have one that's all done. I mean, that's so pretty, I love this napkin. And I'm gonna take the tape runner again and I'm gonna go take the cap off and then I'm going to go down the sides like that. One down the middle for good luck. <laughs> all right. And then again, I chose the green. I think it was a really good choice. And there, look how pretty that is. That would make a wonderful, wonderful invitation. I love this napkin. Okay, now I have my basket of ideas. Um, I hope that you really like some of these ideas because there's so much more you can do besides cards. Okay, first off, I found this napkin and it has this big space on top. So I thought, wow, this would make something really good for like place cards or even table cards. Look how pretty that is. This napkin really, with that space, really lends itself to something like that. Now, I used this napkin to make these um, gift tags. Oops, there we go. Now, this is the napkin that I used, however, these were made with scraps. I have used this a lot and I have little pieces. So all of these were made with scraps. I put a little hole in the top and then I put some twine in and now they're gift tags. They're very, very pretty. Okay, this was a lot of fun. Um, I love this napkin too. I'm gonna show it to you. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, it's a very retro looking Santa. You see that it covers the entire napkin and what I did is I ironed it into a full sheet and I took a paper punch, okay? If you've never used a paper punch, I'm gonna show you a little trick if you're using it like that. I put the paper punch in and I tried to get as much of his face as I could and then you go, and look at that. Look at that. It's a perfect Santa head. And you know, uh, you could put twine on it like this. And I have another paper punch that has a scallop edge, also makes a really, really good punch. These are cute. These would make such good gift tags. All right. Now, on to another napkin. I love this napkin. I'm gonna show you a few others too. This napkin actually, it's not even just for doing paper, but it's when doing any type of decoupaging. Um, when you open this napkin up, okay like this the panels the, the design on the panel one runs into the other so like with this napkin when i open this up okay all four panels are exactly the same which is fine but with this the design continues over the entire napkin so i was able to do this this is a regular sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, um, a standard size, and I did the entire thing. Then I was able to cut it up and I could make these beautiful, I added some silky ribbon, these beautiful, beautiful bookmarks that I can give those out. I can give them as friends, they're in a book club, any kind of club. This is a nice little thing to give out. Now, speaking of napkins, <laughs> We just got these napkins in, Vippy's just got these. And when I was looking through the napkins, I got this one and I opened it up. This is just another little napkin thing I want you to know. 
I noticed that all four of these houses in these cute wintry scenes, they're all different. So that's like four different cards that I can make out of the one napkin. I thought that was really cool. Okay, now onto a little bit of color because you saw me do it, um, the first couple cards on white cardstock. But you know, we don't have to just do things um, on, with white as our base color. We can use other colors as well. So here is the napkin that I use, very, very pretty. And I used different color card stocks um, to show you. Um, that's ivory. Look how pretty that is. This is like a golden rod. Look, look how pretty that came out. All the same napkin. And here's like a dark purple. Look, it worked with all of them. So you don't have to just think about doing white because the background of your napkin is white. I showed these in another video too. But see, that same napkin on all different colors, it just peeks right through. It looks so, so cute. Okay, that's just a little bit of extra tips with the color background and with the punch. Okay, now we're on to these. It's another fun thing to do. This is also about napkins. You know, napkins are very different. When you get napkins, you have to open them up and look at them because there are all different things that you can see. You may find um, that the napkin is different on all four panels. All right, these are called sniffs because they say that they're... Um, for you know, blowing your nose and that kind of thing, but really they're not. They are still a facial napkin. They just come in a convenient size. So when you open it up, there's actually eight Santas there, okay? So here are the Santas that I did, okay? I did the same thing, the iron-on technique, and then I cut it like that. And you know what I did? I put a magnet on the back because I can give this as maybe even just as a gift tag and I can take one of Vippy's little calendars, their self stick, and I can put it on the bottom like that. This is the small size. And look, I have a different gift tag. I have a little gift that I can give to somebody. I can hand this out to some of the clubs I belong to. That's a really cute thing to give somebody. Now, this one is another one that I really like. Also a very retro um, reindeer. And if you notice, again, you have to look at your napkins. When you open it up, you have four napkins, but they're looking in different directions. How cool is that? All right. I did the same thing with these. I put glitter, of course, and I put some magnets on. Now I can use a bigger size. Um, I can use, this is the medium size that Vippy sells, little calendar pad, and I can put it down on top. And now I have another cute little handout or a gift tag that I can give. Okay, so um, again, you can use the little calendar pads to make gift tags. And remember, as stampers and crafters, you know, we all have things like this, your washi tape and your glitter glue and your little pearls. Remember, you can use any of that when you're embellishing. Um, also, stamps on the one, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, but anyway, on the one, I did stamp the inside. Oh, here's one. I stamped, I used this stamp and I stamped the inside. So now I made my own greeting card. And okay, rubber stampers, you can stamp on top of the napkin too. You just want to use, um, don't use the kids kind because that's like water-based. These are the better ones to use. I like the mementos, that's what I use. Okay, and before I forget this, again, this goes out to my stampers. Um, I like to stamp the envelope as well. It just kind of finishes off the card um, when I mail my cards out. So, um, what do you think? Do you think this is something you'd like to try? It's pretty easy. Um, I think this is uh, maybe if you get together with your scrapbooking friends or your rubber stamping friends, this is something that you can do as a group. Okay, now <laughs> please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's DIY Decoupage with Joan Marie Domino. Please give me a thumbs up, give me some comments. And you know, there's this little bell at the bottom. I didn't even know what that bell was for. Well, if you tap that, Every time I upload a video, you're going to get a notification. Okay, I have a lot of videos coming up, so definitely hit the little bell. I want to thank my um, uh, sponsor, Vippy's Designs. You know, they give me the calendars and they give me the napkins to work with. Um, please visit my Facebook page, which is Decoupage Rocket Girls. And I hope you try this. And this is John Marie Domino. Thank you for watching my video.